What's up everyone, Wetwork here, and today I'm going to be reviewing Marvel's Shocker from Spider-Man Homecoming. And yeah, the setup is a little different. It is on the exact same setup, except this time it's on the bed and closer to the wall. So, um... Yeah, so... Oops. Yeah, I may have opened him up already, but... I mean, we can just gonna open him up in a second, but first, this is Spider-Man Homecoming, Marvel Spider-Man Homecoming up there, it's a picture of Spider-Man, picture of Spider-Man, it's a logo, just dropped it, but a bio says, shocker, uses special designed gauntlets to combat any opposition. Opposition, <laughs> I think I said that wrong. And then in the bottom we have Spider-Man, which I'll get soon, probably. Vulture, which I want to get. And, um, homemade suit. And then there's just, like, a lot. <laughs> it says, homemade suit costume artisanal. Oh, just says a bunch of different words in it. It's homemade suit Spider-Man. And then there's Marvel Shocker, Marvel Spider-Man Homecoming, Spider-Man in the... And then, oh, it says, also look for Below Spider-Man. So, let's open him up. This is what it looks like. It's just picture, Hasbro, Marvel Shocker. And, um, taking him out. This time it's not going to take exactly, like, ten entire, no, five minutes, like the pop figure of Darth Vader that I reviewed. It's not going to take five minutes to get him out. It only took two minutes and twenty seconds starting out. So, yeah. Now, I haven't seen the movie. And all I know is that it's probably a really amazing movie. It's my favorite look for Spider-Man, but I don't really think not that many people know about this, but Shocker is my favorite Spider-Man villain, even though I don't know that much about him. It's like, not really the most popular villain, but he is my favorite villain, made, um, not made by... Spider-Man, but from Spider-Man. And this is what he looks like in the movie, except I heard that he doesn't wear this mask. Which is kind of sad, because this is like my favorite part of the figure. He's got like the, um, a bunch of lines. It's kind of hard to see, but he's got like a bunch of, yeah, you can see it on his arm. He's got just a bunch of lines around for his suit. So yeah, um, you we could terrible close-up you can see he's got the black goggles he's got silver wrapping around his head probably do this better if not. no we'll just you know, move it in just a little bit yeah, the zoom's not the best but you know he's got some silver straps going up around his head the goggles are called a colored black he's got like a chin strap like Captain America then on his chest he's got this giant silver thing that goes all the way back to his back he's got a hole in his back because that's normal and he's got a really cool sculpted backpack no paint though he's got these giant awesome gauntlets sculpted and weathered they're very shiny He's got like this little gun holster, but it doesn't come with a gun. And then he's got his very shiny feet armor. And then he's got pants on. And then he's got these like brown lines right there. So yeah, going over the articulation, bringing it back. His head rotates 360. His head kind of goes up. Goes up that much. Goes down that much. And doesn't really go side to side. He's got no torso articulation, much like the 
these kind of figures. Figures. Um, his arms go out, out that much, and then rotate. His legs go forward that much, and go back that much, and that's all the articulation. Um, I can see why they didn't give him arm articulation, cause like it'd probably mess up with like the look for his arm, and cause the giant gauntlet, and then like the baggy upper arm would probably make it look a little weird. I like how it looks now. I'm gonna grab a figure that does show the size comparison between him. So I'll go get that right now. Okay, so after like 10,000 years of looking, cause you know I never have like, know where my figures are. There's the um, ultimate Spider-Man. The show that sadly got ended and replaced with a one that I don't really like. Here's the size comparison. Who knew a teenager would be the size of an adult? Next two is compared to Miles Morales. And then here he is compared to um Scarlet Spider. And then here's a him compared to a figure that I thought kind of looked like him. This is like three and three quarter inches. It's like, I think, five or six inches. And then, here he is. Compared to a, um, Iron Man that was bought from a dollar store. Yeah. So I do have a Spider-Man that he can fight. This is, um, yeah, did I mention that he has, like, this really cool brown jacket that's on it that he has? He's also got a, the silver thing goes all the way around. I didn't color it back there. I still don't know why there's a hole there. There's not a hole on the other, uh, is there a hole on, um, the Spider-Man Homecoming figures, like, above their butt? Is this eerie foreshadowing that, does he get stabbed up his butt? Does he get shot in, like, above his butt or something? Just, I need to know what happens that involves him having a hole on his, above his butt. He also has a collar, and as you can see, it's under his shirt. So, yeah. I really like this figure a lot. It's probably one of my favorite figures. <sighs> Funny thing is, this is my first Shocker figure, but it's the movie Shocker, and it's my first Shocker figure, probably because they don't make that much, that many Shocker figures. I'm trying to think, did they ever have Shocker in the um, Ultimate Spider-Man TV show? I don't remember. I mean, I expect they would. Well, like, every single Spider-Man villain known to man in that show. It's probably how they could have kept it running. Bring in more Spider-Man villains. You know, I bet they used up all of them. But yeah. Spider-Man just goes, like... <laughs> so yeah, can scrawny teenage Peter Parker win against very big and buff adult shocker? Let's find out. Turns out, um, scrawny Peter Parker dies. Shocker wins. So yeah, that's it for my totally amazing review of Shocker. Um, if you do see him in stores, pick him up. He's a really great figure. And, um, keep watching because I will do a review on the um, Homecoming Spider-Man and Vulture and home, and hopefully Homemade Suit Spider-Man. 
and prob and if they make an Iron Man, I don't know. I did not Iron Man, but for now we got this Iron Man. Mhm. Mm Here, the hollow plastic. Uh, it's gonna be on my part two of cheap figures that I bought from a dollar store. They have Marvel ones. They don't care about DC though. So yeah. The funny thing was, I came. I went to the store when I got him, trying to find Zoom from the Flash and the two pack with Comic Flash and um, Movie Flash. I found a Movie Flash action figure that cost ten dollars. It was a. It was the one that's just clear and the clear red, and then it has the weird blue on it. I didn't like it at all. I'm glad I found him. I was like, you know what? I should check for Shocker. And then I looked behind Vulture with Shocker. And honestly, if in my opinion, I prefer Shocker over Vulture. So see you all next time. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos and I will get some more Halo videos coming out soon and but yeah may not come out for a while because I'm there's gonna be crazy stuff going on so yeah expect a lot of action figure reviews because as you can as I'm going to show you just Marvel Legends, DC, bunch of more Marvel, random things, Transformers, Minecraft, and stuff, just a so many action figures. So, yeah. See you all next time. Make sure to subscribe and peace out.